what you're doing there. So, big boy's blue half-brother. So, it's all sanded up and in its new home on the ledge where the big boy used to sit in front. So, I'm not going to have to worry about this being super heavy because it's never going to move. I'm going to start by putting things in this end and work edge by edge by edge by edge, so doing a basically perpetual migration method until I get all the way down to this end, and then in theory, this end should be ready to harvest. Well, you know how worms are, they do what they want, but that's the theory behind this one, which would be Big Boy's lazy brother, who's just gonna do the job laying down. Half-brother, that's right, I forgot, half-brother. All right, well, let's get this party started. I've got us attached to a bucket close by, and I'm going to go grab one of the tubs that used to be the big boy. So this is one of my mortar trays. I'm just going to pour it in there. So this is the plan, is that I'm going to start it all the way over here, and I've put uh, right here, I've got some mesh hot glued to the holes where it used to be a rain barrel, but they're kind of getting fussy over who can do what with rain barrels. It's not really legal to collect rain anymore. So I'm repurposing them. And I'm going to give him a good size feeding. Got some oranges that went bad, started molding. So I'm just going to nestle them down in there, make sure there's a hole parked in each one. Cover them up with the bedding. There's also some coffee and coffee grounds. So the ideal is not to go vertical this time, it's to go horizontal. So once they get done eating all of everything over here, then I will make a, a space and move over on the other side. So right now, this is probably, well, it's half of a 55-gallon drum deep. So I should spread it out just a little bit more, bury the coffee grounds. I'm not starting with those in here. I am not even starting with those. They are going outside. Alright. So put those on. Please. And keep going with this until this looks done. And I probably will have to go back and read up on the wedge method a little bit. I'm probably not doing this quite right, but I had to start with everything um, as far as leftovers goes. I've given away an entire bin full of worms. I still have to, I've got another one to give away. So this is actually a quarter of Big Boy's worms. So there's nothing preventing them from going any place other than that there's no place to live. Get over there. So, nothing here. I am going to give them a little bit more grit though, because that was a pretty good, good sized feeding. And even though in theory with all the big boy stuff, I think there should probably be some grit left, but I don't know. 
it may have been all sifted out with the castings. So I don't want to assume that. I'm just going to get this going here. And that will be the beginning of the new big boy bin. Big boy blue. And this is how he starts. And when we get done with this, I won't add any more food over here. This will be the only time I feed in this particular area. And then I will add new bedding at the end with new food. And when that gets all the way stacked to the top, then I will keep moving, moving down farther and farther until we get to the other end. And then hopefully this right here will be ready to harvest. So there's quite a bit of bedding in here and there's quite a bit of food, but we'll keep checking on this every week. Let me know what you think. Have you ever done something like this? You know, constructive criticism. How wrong am I doing this? I'm kind of winging it. Big shocker, I know. So anyway, go ahead, give me a muddy thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button if you want to see more of all of the shenanigans that happens here at the Plain Obsessed channel. Alright guys, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good night.